wouldn't it be great if I had a bow that I did not have to reload every time after shooting? Well, take a look at this. The repeating crossbow, or the Chukonu or something, was a Chinese crossbow of which the earliest findings date back at least to 400 BC. Now you might be thinking, Jelly, what's this thing on top? If I know anything about crossbows, it's that they don't have this thing on, on top. Well, it's a magazine. Each one of these magazines could hold up to at least 10 bolts, and this bow would be able to fire all 10 of them in under 20 seconds. How does it work? Well, you grab this thing and you, you push it forward and then you yank it back and then you can shoot. That's it. Now you might be thinking, Jelly! If this thing is so easy to load, then that means it must have very low draw weight. So it's not really powerful then, is it? Well, yeah. That's exactly what it means. It could only shoot at a maximum of 120 meters, but only about 80 meters effectively, and it wasn't really accurate. So it doesn't really have any of the requirements a bow usually has. Like, it doesn't shoot very far, it's not really accurate, and it has a very low potential armor piercing capability. But it does shoot a bunch of arrows though, so you could increase your rate of fire a lot even with very very few people. And if you dip the arrows in poison, which we assume that they did, then it would be even more effective. If you loaded the magazines beforehand, that is. And of course also dipped every single arrow in poison. And you would still have to lug around like a bunch of magazines, which, which would be quite heavy and, and impractical. It could be used as a tool for home defense, but as a battlefield weapon, I really don't see it. So I hope you found this enjoyable. You can click the annotation top left to watch the previous weird weapons video. You can click the button in the middle to subscribe. And thank you for joining my quest. And I hope you'll join me in the next one.